Hey everyone, Alicia here and you're tuned into my guide. Today I wanted to do a quick review on a product that I've been using and loving for the last three months. I have with me today the Caudalie Instant Detox Mask. And sidestep, let's just talk about a quick story because five years ago I tried some masks, nothing worked, so I gave up on them. And then spring and summer 2015 came around. The trend has been really hot. Every single brand does at least four different strains. Nope, that sounds like a bacteria. Types of masks. Caudalie is no exception because they have a purifying, a glycolic peel, and I think a mattifying one, as well as, of course, the queen of all masks. Glam Glow has, therefore, the green one, the black one, the super mud, which is the white one, and the thirsty mud, which is the blue one. And so many other brands have at least one mask, ranging from $5 to $78. And I think this is a really good mid-range price mask for the average person. I'm gonna talk about some specs, but before I get into that, I just wanna talk about the story. A couple months ago, I went to Sephora to get a sunscreen to review for you guys as it's upcoming warm summer season and women of color tend to have a harder time finding a sunscreen that doesn't leave any ish on the skin. If you wanna see what I'm talking about, the video is right here, so you can click it. As I was looking and kind of browsing the different brands and ranges and seeing what the spectrums of the SPF were and the different benefits were, a lady, I guess she was a representative of Origins, came up to me and asked me, hey, do you want to try a sample of this? And I was like, sure, why not, free stuff. And she drained out a Origins bottle of black mud mask for my blackheads. I guess they were bothering her that much. Needless to say, I tried that because I had so many samples, insert snippet of how many I got that one time, that it lasted me for two weeks. And I tried that out, and I did like the feeling, but I didn't feel like it did anything for my blackheads. But I was still intrigued by the mask world and seeing so many YouTubers and fashion bloggers and beauty bloggers and style bloggers rave about their favorite ones. I wanted to see if there was a mask for me because it's been quite some time since I tried one. Maybe the formulation has changed or I should just try a higher brand because last time I tried like drugstore brand for like five to seven dollars. I decided to go out and get the Caudalie Mud Mask which runs for 39 Canadian dollars. I also tried out the Super Mud by Glam Glow which is supposed to be the ah, and I didn't see the results that I had hoped with that mask which is why I don't have it here for you guys. I think it is a good mask, I just don't believe it's worth 80 bucks. Whereas this is good and it's half the price. What I didn't like about the mud mask from Glam Glow is that I really expected to see my blackheads plug out of my nose and float off in the air to never be seen again. And obviously that didn't happen. I tried it several times and I thought maybe after several usages it would start to lift as a plate. I think I need an exfoliator or maybe because I've had my blackheads since I was 15, they're just so deeply ingrained into my skin that they're part of my heritage. They don't bother me, but I guess they bother that Sephora lady so much that she helped me embark on this mask journey. Now we end up here. This mud mask has four great ingredients, including papaya extract, which I've never seen in a beauty product before, which is really good for adding radiance. It's also got some good ingredients for detoxifying, purifying, and draining out any plugged pores. And that's from the pink clay, the coffee, and the grape mark, which I'm assuming is a sort of grape extract. I know Caudalie always puts some sort of grape seed extract, grape blank extract into their products. So that would be what this is. Of, made of, comprised of, yeah. And lastly, they also have some essential oils which really help nourish and moisturize the skin, which is the only reason why I don't think this is the best mask for someone who has overly oily skin. If you have mildly oily skin or a T-zone of oiliness, like I tend to get in the summertime, this will be fine for you because I've noticed as the weather's transitioned and I've started to get a tiny bit oily here, it's helped regulate this out. I usually have really dry skin in the winter and then I, there's a small period and window of space where the Toronto weather is perfect and optimal for skin and hair and my skin is just naturally like normal, not combination, not oily, not dry. This is good for that person as well as someone a little bit off the teeter-totter. If you're on the extreme ends, you may want to try something a little bit more medicated, less natural or more natural, just depends on your skin. But for me and my skin type, it's been amazing. What I love most about this is that it really helps give me an inner glow. This combined with the usage of the Super Mud, as well as the Origins Mask, as well as the Retinol A, I think it's called Steven 7A, something like that, that I got from my dermatologist. And I want to give a teeny weeny bit of 
credit to my Mega Bright sunscreen, which is also supposed to brighten even skin tone out. I think all of those combined have really helped even out my skin tone, and I want to contribute this to helping deal with the last bit of acne that I've been trying to kick to the curb. Usually around my cycle, you guys know what that means, I tend to have some hormonal breakouts here and here, which is why I had so many blemishes that I've been trying to get rid of over the last two years. I noticed since my last cycle, nothing. It's a miracle. So I definitely contribute this because since then, nothing has changed other than this. Everything else, I kind of stopped using for two weeks before I started this because I wanted my skin to really be regulated, so I was only basing it on this. I still want to contribute the other masks just because they did help clean up my pores before I tried this. But in general, as far as new zits and new formations for things that might possibly cause a blemish, this has really helped prevent it. I do like the fact that my skin feels moisturized because I don't ever moisturize before I go to bed. So this helps leave my skin hydrated just before I sleep. It's suggested to leave on for five minutes twice a week, either morning or night or both. I've used it every single day of the week, the first week, then four times the second week, and I'm like, let me just try as per directed the last week. And each time it was no difference, amazing results. So you can definitely stretch out your usage and get full advantage of the bottle without feeling like you're wasting it. A thin coat works perfectly fine. Just like the Super Mud, you will see your pores appear on your face, which is kind of cool. And it rubs off and leaves a slightly, almost like a creamy face wash kind of feel. So it's just very refreshing. And I've never been to a spa before, but I feel like this is a really great at-home facial. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review. If you haven't already, thumbs up and subscribe for more. And until next time, love and later.